The picker view is a control for selecting a text from a list of data. It displays a short list of items from which the user can select an item. Picker's properties are backed by bindable property objects, which means that they can be styled, and the properties can be targets of data bindings. Good day everyone. I'm Michael, and I'm using a text-to-speech program to have a more clear speech in audio. In this video lesson, you will learn the following. 1. Create a Xamarin Forms Picker. 2. Populate data to Picker. Now let's open the Visual Studio and do some coding. There are two techniques for populating a picker with data. First, is adding the data to be displayed to the item's collections. Second, is setting the item source property to the data to be displayed. Let's start with the first technique. Prior to Xamarin Forms 2.3.4, the process for populating a picker with data was to add the data to be displayed to the read-only items collections, which is type of a list. Each item in the collection must be of type string. To add a string, we simply used x colon string. So this element belongs to Microsoft XAML, that's why its prefix is x. Let's run the app. A picker doesn't show any data when it's first displayed. Instead, the value of its title property is shown as a placeholder on iOS and Android. So when we tap at the picker, its data is displayed and the user can select an item. The picker fires a selected index changed event when the user selects an item. Following selection, the selected item is displayed by the picker. We can also populate the items from code behind. Comment this out. Then give our picker a name. Then go to code behind to add the items. Let's run the app again. Adding items from code behind is useful if you intend to change the items from the list or the items that come from the database or other sources. Now let's try the second technique. Here, instead of adding directly from the picker's item's property, I created an array of type string and assign it to the picker's item source. Note that the x colon array element requires a type attribute indicating the type of the items in the array. Let's run the app again. Now, let's add the items from code behind. Comment this out.
Let's run the app again. A picker can be also populated with data by using data binding to bind its item's source property to an list collection. So instead simple string, let's create a company model class with three properties. Then back in code behind, let's create a list of company model. Then add the details. Back in XAML, let's add image and label element to display to property of the selected company. Since we bind the item source to an object, we need to set the picker's item display binding to specify which property of the object we would like to display in the list of items. Then, add an event. Let's implement the event. Here, we get the selected index and assign it to a variable. And pass this index to the list of company and access the properties of selected item, which is the logo and the description. So whenever the selected item changes, the image and label elements property also change. Let's run the app again. Here is our image and label element that changes whenever an item in the picker change. That's all for this video lesson. If you have questions, suggestions, something to add, or you think something is missing or incorrect to the lesson, please let me know. Again, this is Michael, thank you and see you at my next video lesson. Keep safe everyone.